able to give you a chance to test out for yourself, it's really important for you to be able to test it and see how good the water is. But do you have any other questions for Mr. Hansen or the mayor? Two questions. Uh, I forget who said it, either Gail or Hansen, but you said a lot of businesses are located here because of the water. Mm -hmm. Could you give us some examples of uh, names of businesses? Martin's famous pasture was uh, one that uh, located here primarily because of our water quality. Yeah. The mayor's correct. I, I was here when we were competing for Martin's Famous Pastry. They were a Pennsylvania company. They wanted a presence in the southeast uh, to expand and also to serve all their Florida markets. So obviously if your product is bread and pastries, uh, the quality of water is very important to you as well as the price of that water. So Martin's uh, brought in their own uh, chemists, their own uh, taste testers, their own bakers. They did a lot of sophisticated testing. They narrowed it down to three sites and then they did both a taste test and a chemical analysis of those final three sites and selected Valdosta as having the, the finest water that they wanted for their product. So uh, it is a major reason that company is here and they employ well over 200 and serve the entire state of Florida and a good bit of Georgia out of their bakery and distribution center out on uh, uh, St. Augustine Road. And what year was that? Um, that was probably about Four, five years ago. No, probably eight, eight, seven, eight, eight years ago, I would guess. Uh, you can just be approximate. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, does the city of Valdosta test the water at taps throughout the city? That's yes. correct. Uh, we have 60 probably, locations. 60 locations. Okay. And we, t we test monthly. At the, not all 60. We rotate through the 60 okay. throughout the year. And, and uh, they actually test here. This is a state certified lab. So we actually not only test for ourselves, we test for other uh, governments as well. And they test daily for uh, 90 contaminants uh, in the drinking water. So it's a very broad, very wide, very comprehensive uh, water analysis. And yeah, they have locations throughout the city, all areas of the city where they collect samples, bring them here and test them. One thing about that too, because of the regulations being handed down from Washington, we're having to uh, test for more contaminants Absolutely. almost every year. Every year, and it's it's a challenge. The mayor is correct because they're they're you know those costs have to be passed along. And matter of fact, la uh, year before last, the mayor and I were in Washington meeting, and EPA was submitting more drinking water standards. And we all understand and appreciate the importance of that. But there were several that were going to require that there were less than five labs in the United States who were even capable of testing uh, for those contaminants. So you know, we were able to, to uh, convince them to delay that uh, some uh, just, and, and now those, you know, we've absorbed those now into our budget, but so it's always a balance in that. You naturally want the cleanest, safest drinking water, but there's also uh, the ability of being able to pay for those things and all that testing. And so we work, you know, we work hard every day. And like I said, this plan is operated by only a staff of 11, which is really pretty amazing. It's 24-7, 365. Uh, it has redundant electrical power. It has its own generation system. Um, it's sophisticated to the point that there are there may be a peak day in July where it's 102 degrees and everyone's using a lot of power. And we may we shop power in the morning. We may make a decision to operate our plant that day on our own generators rather than on the electrical grid because we can operate it cheaper. Uh, there are days where an electrical company may call us and say, would, would you be willing to get off the grid today because we need that power and we'll generate our own power. So, you know, this plan is really very sophisticated and also that's important to our customers to know that, um, that they're going to have uh, our service, you know, regardless of circumstances. And, and we've made a lot of other improvements that are related to the water plant, the elevated storage tank of two million gallons. Um, you know, there have been times in the past we have a major fire, they would have to call the plant and say, hey, we need more pressure. Uh, you know, we did, you know, you got a big fire and fighting it with multiple trucks with the elevated storage tank here. That chemical fire we had last year was a, was a test and uh, they, there was not even a need to call the plant because we have two million gallons of elevated storage in the downtown area and it really barely moved in, in the tank so they were able to deliver them all the water they needed with all the pressure they needed to fight a major fire with multiple trucks. So people often don't realize all of that is connected. You know, we, we work together with the fire department to flush hydrants. That's not only to test those hydrants to make sure they're operational, but to keep the water safe, keep the chlorine residuals correct. Um, um, 
our water plant has an ISO rating, just like a fire department does. This plant uh, has, has a class two rating, which the highest you can get is one. So it's a scale of one to 10. So that tells you the quality of the plant and that tells you the hydrants, the size of the lines, the water pressure, all those things are evaluated in determining what your ISO rating. So by any measurable standard, this plant is state of the art.